welcome back in this video we are going to see Windows Admin Center so I just saw this message that said that uh, one browser based app and it's um, server on PC so I thought maybe it is that RSAT thing that we did like uh, oh so this one it's this one so if you don't remember that video rsat is a tool uh, that you can install on any windows computer and then you don't have to have a physical access to uh, the server to manage active directory you can do that from the <coughs> uh, windows so it's like uh, if you have a few people managing your um, <coughs> server or directory so you have to come and watch this video remote server administration tool uh, are set so if like <coughs> there are five group of five or if it's a bigger one there, were, there are like 10 15 or 50 help desk guys they all need to have access to um, active directory to for changing user passwords all that and that need to be done in active directory then you don't give them all access to your server you just give install this on their computer so they can log in from here and make changes in active directory uh, if you don't if you're not clear you can watch this video so I thought maybe it's something like that so I wanted to give it a try and I wanted to give it a try over uh, the like capture what's going on. it says download windows admin center for microsoft evaluation center well it should mean uh, probably it's a new tool that is even not given to everybody so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this in my uh one of the client machines so this is the server you can see server 2019 and this is my client windows 10 so let's download it and run it we see windows admin center evaluation yes it's a evaluation license continue uh, start your evaluation hmm that's interesting so let's put any company size one job title analyst or press IT or technical manager work email address um, Ali at ihoney.org work phone number um, <coughs> oh, they can. and United States I like it when United States is the very first one and the last but download oh it's right there run and so we can minimize this one windows admin center so I accept so <coughs> everything has gone towards uh, browser based um, desktop shortcut to launch yes use win rm or https only i don't want to do this at the moment uh, it was giving me a port number probably over there six something so if you remember our videos your backup and then there was another one uh, that we had to configure uh, it, it had something to do with the imaging um, and pixie boot all that even though we are running this program like exe or msi whatever uh, if you remember then rest of the configuration or playing around or uh, working was browser based that you had to type in the address and log into that location so this is the same thing even though we ran this it will put a link here the shortcut but that will be a web address that we can uh, open 
and log in from the web uh, site it could be a local in our case it should be so I'm gonna pause the video here it's just stuck here I don't want to just video to keep getting bigger and bigger once it's done I will unpause it or resume oh it's done so it says Windows Admin Center more choices the first time you open you have to select a certificate be sure to select Windows Admin Center okay open Windows Admin Center <coughs> So it's loading select a certificate windows admin center we hit okay and it's opened up in um, edge and if you notice that's the port uh, number that it was giving me on the first screen 6516 and it says it has picked up my domain perfectly and it has perfect so we can see that this is the port number that it was giving me and the start of the setup it has taken my username that I'm logged in through and it has my imran.local um, uh, domain it used to be that one and then I changed it but so all connection windows admin center let's see what we can do if I click on here it's connecting and I see that Windows Admin Center the logo is exactly like server manager if you can see like here this bottom layer if I can show you like this this to differentiate this is the server manager and I think I am kind of logged in an extension update is available so that's my computer name that I am logged in to it's kind of not the computer name it should not be let's see what my computer name is let's go to system and computer oh that is the device name indeed and if I go rename this PC nope uh, where is that information that puts me into right there okay so that is the computer name and I am connected to uh, my domain okay so that was right so that is the correct information okay <clears throat> the next uh, it took my domain it took my operating system it's showing me how much uh, space I have all that the install GB since it's a virtual machine is showing me what I configured in virtual machine and you see it's even saying virtual machine and I have this my CPU usage memory all that so let's see if I have local user and groups that's the one I was looking for uh, let's make it bigger so these are the users that I can manage I can add user and then I have groups here and uh, is there a text group right there that I created power users so nope So this is the guest Osman 17 administrator. I think these are the local users, not the domain users. Azure security processes registry. So Windows Admin Center most likely is related to everything. Built in account for the computer domain. Yep, so it looks like everything is so far we can uh, sign in to Azure here it looks like everything is either for local or I can't uh, I need to go one by one everything to find where the oh it did say local users and groups local it did say in here so I need to find out the domain so if I click here Azure I can connect to the Azure Active Directory probably uh, your security center is there devices what devices are there so let's see what actually the windows admin center is
server manager so do we have a server manager here I don't see it do we need to go and install server manager software storage system devices <clears throat> so prop this is the computer management and there is the server manager okay all right so now it's start it has started to make a lot more sense now uh, we see these are the events so admin center is we can manage the local computer a client computer everything related to it or we can do the server thing that's what I was interested in I'm gonna go quickly over here and then we will launch the um, server manager so Internet Explorer is right here and this is all about the events that happened you can check for the events this is files so everything is on the local computer level not on the domain so this PC I can think oh I can browse the yep I can browse these files on my computer uh, through this uh, we saw the local user and groups let's see what firewall is that is Windows firewall settings everything incoming rule outgoing rules yes we can create them uh, let's we check that so that's why I'm skipping it networks so all of these they are in in the applets in the form of applets but we are accessing them through the um, web browser so you can add an Azure network adopter Ethernet and yep it is a hyper-v performance monitor is the one that I right click and see that all the time uh, like this um, oh no task manager and from there we use the performance tab so I think that's what it is blank workspace okay ah oh, processes in that window over here in that's the process this one here and then this is the performance so it's listing all the processes running on my computer registry is the reg edit uh, schedule task you can schedule everything I yep H key everything so it will run like this I <clears throat> schedule tasks you can schedule through it from here you have to I think task manager and then schedule a task <clears throat> like you can create a task I run new tasks so you can create a task or you can like set up a task so that's not through the task manager schedule task scheduler is a separate thing I remember I did that to set up an alarm or you know give you a heads up very back in the day now there are two ways you can set up alarms on Windows natively and even if the computer is off computer will boot on on that time and give you the alarm the other one that I really like is you can with Outlook you can set up those reminders so they're not alarms they're reminders and they will give bug you every day at that time that you are scheduled for that so I really like that one rather than this um, services again it's the services tab in task manager and then we favorite storage I've been using computers for 10 20 years and I've been battling storage battles <laughs> all the time my first uh, hard drive was 20 GB and I had 4 or 5 GB each um, so I had to be very creative with the storage back then now this one has 500 GB I'm still struggling with that the other computer I used uh, for the longest um, about uh, seven years now that uh, has uh, 
1.5 terabyte and still I like that is that was more than enough because I could always delete stuff that I really didn't need and still have like more than half available to me so last is storage and then Azure Security Center secure server with Azure Security Center this is some kind of uh, I think it's Microsoft take on uh, the protection yeah, and all that uh, normally you have uh, endpoint protection and this and that whatever on server F secure so it will show me this volumes and file shares so I have one this that is virtual what are the volumes in there and ACD whatever and file shares if I have any uh, shared some folders they will show up here let's go to server manager server connection we probably have to add it to get started add a connection to windows admission using the add command add one what's the server name server is server 19 I believe <coughs> Found server 19.numron.local exactly as entered. We added now. My server has been added. If you don't know, that's the server. No, that's the virtual machine name. To see the actual server name, there are two ways you can actually see it from either here, and that's the server 19 my name, and you see the domain name. The other one is that you right click on. We toss uh, sorry Windows button and then you click on system doesn't matter if Windows or yeah um, a Windows PC or Windows server there's the server name the device name so that's what I added let's click on it and see where it takes me <clears throat> again local users no so this one is different it's giving me everything related to thing local users and when connected to a domain controller so we cannot use that so we have roles and features storage migration replicas so these there are different two options here what I really need is uh, this is a backup file sync what I wanted is roles and features probably <coughs> and <coughs> active directory users so domains lightweight directory service probably this one <coughs> uh, let's see if we don't have users in we can search it right no so lightweight directory services I want to click this see its details <clears throat> so I can install it I want to see users and that search tool users nope so in that case In that case I will go with this one and I will install it <coughs> domain services install so this are uh, like Azure you can connect your Azure here this is available if this is available where it is available in installed apps it is available now so let's see where exactly is it available 
let's see here but that should give the install like a, what's installed on the server yep that was it so overview we can restart the server here shut down this matrix computer id all that <coughs> so azure backup file sync monitor security center certificate devices events again roles and features <coughs> So how do I run this? It's a role. Is there a role somewhere? Here? What if I double click it? So let's see what's in settings. I check checking out environment variable Azure Azure Arc. It says user. That's the user. Role based access control remote desktop. Let's go here. Okay, let's apply it. Most of the time I end up restarting devices the next day and it's there for some reason. So I was just interested in like do I need the RSAT remote server? Ah, what if that's what I need to do in here? Uh, in that install apps? No. In roles and feature. Ah, it's it's not done yet. That's why I cannot find it. So it's being it's only being done twenty four percent. That's why I can't find Active Directory lightweight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video here, wait for it to be complete, and then we'll see what's uh, if we can find it. Can we connect to our server? Can we change user's password? So I wanted to quickly show you that this is all, but it says successfully scheduled application of RBAC errors and warning. There is none. What is active is in under active. It's saying that this is being actively done or whatever. Even though it's been 10 minutes, uh, it started at 9:33. Now it's 9:43, and then it's info, like general info, probably. So let's pause the video again. So it's giving me a, I think that's an error. So failed with the following error message for the Windows. Because it's almost. Mm. That is bad. How we can try that again. Go to rules and feature. Lightweight directory. 
install. So this is install. Now I forgot where did we add the uh, install. Nope. Let's overview. We can let's see what happens when I click on restart here. <coughs> and does this restart the computer? Which computer? Server 19, yes. And it's restarting. You can see that it's restarted. And it's restarting. I will click on connection later. Oh boy, I restarted the server and everything is red. <laughs> Active Directory, Active Directory LDS. Oh wow, everything is in red. So what's going on? Let's see. Oh, automatic refresh completed with no more warning message. I don't know. Cannot get event data. DNS server server. Let's see, click here, connecting. So it had the connection, it restarted the device. Notification restarting, successful. It's still at info, active. This is still active. So error. What is the system? <coughs> Role based access control. Let's go to overview. See if I can add the Where was that devices? Local user and groups. Updates. Updates for the server. I just saw that. I am an inside Windows server. I need to be computer management probably. No, right there. So server connection, that's it. Let's add another one. Connection type, import a list, search active directory. Enter search name, wildcard is spotted. Server online, can we search it? Server online.mron.local, so add. Now we have lost connected, this one. This is the one that I just added. So let's connect click to it so it connects just fine just gives us error dashboard everything is in red what is the error so let's go here
it's stuck at 24%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this computer and see what happens. So luckily this computer comes back pretty fast. Unlike server, that takes a little longer. So 12 days and this is the icon. If I double click on it, it's still doing its thing. So I have some item is not loud for one drive so it's loading its stuff for me I think server windows admin center is there all I have to do is okay it's loading and you see it's going to localhost 6516 that is the um, the domain uh, sorry that is the address to access it so I have everything here an extension update is available go to extension in settings to update what is the this one is available Azure Security Center we don't need that to be updated so we can see here info active <laughs> so let's go to server manager of course click on this one it's connecting and see what we get here so nope no error warning so let's get back to what was it roles and features and lightweight directory it says install it is install so storage replica Let's go to server manager again and this time click on this one it's connecting let's click on roles and features here and this is the one oh it's installed already what is this view powershell script notification settings all right um i cannot figure it out for some reason i'm gonna pause the video here try to restart my server one more time before calling it a day this time I'm gonna restart it from here restart continue so I install oh sorry I restarted my computer it's still all red same error message and I have an update available that uh, I have no idea how to update it so I think it was under server manager whatever the server that you want to connect to and then it's update here I immediately schedule restart update titles install update install update let's do that so you see I'm doing it from my web browser installing update on this server so and then it wants to automatically restart it that's what we're going to do and hopefully 
I will be able to sh I can do show you like side by side this is pretty much my limit here uh, on this so let's go here like this uh, you are not seeing part of the window of the server but that's okay or I can actually s make it smaller let's do that so now you have the full window of a uh, server and you are seeing this going around so the server is restarting you can see we cannot complete the updates getting ready to retry don't turn off your bus so you can see this is the server it automatically send it to re reboot and that's what it's doing it it even gave us the message that it could not complete the update it's gonna retry and stop services and all that when it boots up it should give me do not turn off updating message that's how most of the time uh, Windows 10 does like it's not when you're shutting it down working on updates it's when it boots up back up that's when it gives you the message so I'm gonna pause the video here so server is back let's give it the password Uh, it could be the semantic I up install I don't and after that I did not work on server much it could be that semantic is um, giving issues everything is again red I have update for this whatever hopefully it has successfully installed updates and we can go to You know what let's wrap this video here services tab oh everything turned just turned green nope it turned <laughs> it turned back to red so I don't know what's happening here let's go here these are the services running over there all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this video here and we'll just uninstall Symantec over there because that's already been um, like expired and then I will search around how to use this Windows Admin Center to manage manage us what is manage us um session nope another so I could use the administrator password and all that so let's try that <coughs> we can do that you know save and connect and see if we get something different before So far everything is same, nothing new in here, except we can get quickly check roles and features one more time. And with these roles and feature we are really installing them on the server, probably. So you'd need the remote server RSAT tool, and is it remote desktop, remote access. It could be this one. Oh yes, web application proxy. Remote system. Ah, it was this one. So we've been installing LDAP, lightweight directory, 
it was remote server RSAT R S A T. So it it was this one feature and role. We needed this one. All right, so that's why it was. It's we were not able to see uh, what we wanted. Let's get this remote server administration tool. Click on this one and install. Calculating dependencies, whatever. Reboot the server if required. We click yes. Starting installation. And let's see. Again, it's at 24 person, 30 person, so it's going. This one is working. Let's see if it goes further. Yes, 45 percent. So we are good. It is going through. Sixty-eight person. So what I did is I just let everything install whatever is for needed uh, to be uh, to remote server administration uh, to work properly. This way, it will do. It was successfully installed over here, and you see that in the background the server is restarting and under info i no longer have any red in errors and warning there's nothing in active there's nothing active and all and the role and feature have been installed and i kind of thinking that it's been like this was installed on the server and not in here so if that is the case like we are managing server so we're installing these things on the server and not in here so i really should have been installing them on the computer probably just needs to quickly check it rules and features isn't there like in theory uh, it should have been Windows 10 that we install our set over here like we did actually I don't know if it's this computer or the other one have some features nope I don't see it over here so let me enter the password there So let's see R set. Oh no, remote desktop connection. <coughs> if you click this, it says new a bunch of things. So Azure ID Connect is new. Google PDQ Revo uh, Server Manager it was there, but nothing else. Remote desktop. Comment again, point protection, Windows PowerShell is new, so it's all PowerShell. Spiceworks, Symantec, so there's nothing else that will say new and I can click and see, so it's, and anyway here, remote server, R remote, Alright, so it's not here in features. We can see a feature is again, then you have to search for it. Uh, nothing. Alright, so let's get back to server manager. Server, it's connecting.
this is remote desktop we don't need that so what we need it is server administration tool so now we can only uninstall it but there is no way to going it all right let's wrap this video here uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one where i have more information about this Thank you for watching.